Hello, Autumn. How are you? Let's talk about your work. Okay, so here's what we have. Um, we, we have this, this logo, and it's, it, you've incorporated this lighthouse, and it, it, from what I can tell, it looks like this lighthouse has been um, rendered from a um, live trace, an illustrator from an actual photograph, which is a wonderful technique. It, it, if so, did you simplify it? It looks like you did. And, um, um, and that's just a wonderful technique. I, I really, really, I, I enjoy that technique quite a bit um, when done correctly. And you did a really nice job with this. So then you have the Red Devil's Lake, which, which incorporates the um, lighthouse very nicely in, into the actual logo. As a matter of fact, you kind of have this, this swirling effect that just keeps you in the logo. And it's pretty cool, I gotta say. It, 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 there's no exit. It kind of is like just this loop, which is cool. It keeps, and that's great for a logo. You don't want anything to indicate or to lead your viewer away from the work. So that's, that's very nicely done, I think. Now, two things. Um, I don't understand the logo. I, I don't know what Devil's Lake view living is. Or is it Devil's Lake view living? Or I, I, what is view living? My take is that it's a, what I'm seeing is it's an old folks uh, retirement living community with a, that's on a lake, view living. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, so that's what I'm thinking it is. My next question is this, this view living, this typeface here, looks like it has been, um, Manipulated some way, it looks like it's been stretched, and I'm pretty sure it has. So try to remember if you did, and, and, and we can't do that. Let me show you why I say that. If we jump in here at about 300%, we can see that the O's are oval. The dots on the O's, and look how long that is, that L, and it's, yeah, they've been, they've been, um, They've been manipulated. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Okay, so let's go back over here to, now let's get down here to, so there's the logo. Now the logo isn't part of your um, corporate identity. A logo is a logo. It's, you, you know, it's not, you can't, you can't consider a logo to be part of a corporate identity. You can use the logo to create a corporate identity, but the logo itself isn't part of a corporate identity. Um, presentation as it were okay so let's go over here and take a look at these I, I'm gonna guess this uh, this is a business card okay so we need with this business card we need a, um, a a full business stationery which is the business card the number 10 envelope and uh, the letterhead so go ahead and design those because if you take a look at the uh, uh, requirements, letterhead, business card, envelope are considered to be one piece, not three pieces, so or individual pieces. So that's one piece, and that's pretty much um, expected to be seen in a corporate identity program. Okay, and then so over here we've got a couple of things going on here, and this card here, um, basic logo on the front, and then the back, and I just want to uh, zoom into here to take a look at a couple of things here. Okay, so okay, so again, it looks like this type here has been. It, it looks like it's been manipulated to fit in that um, in that area right there. So so let me know. I I, I, I let me know if I'm incorrect. Um, but if I'm correct, that that'll have to be. Um, you'll have to attend to that. This typeface right here is too close to this typeface. I know they're not close, but they are. It's too close to use with the logo typeface. So I highly recommend changing this for two reasons. Number one, it's too close. And number two, it's just, it's almost impossible to read. Um, if you're going to use a typeface like this, you really have to kern that thing out so that it's, it, the letters are really super far apart. This is a great example down here. This is barely legible. Um, and it's not at, at any smaller of a space at a, 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 a viewing distance. So um, I would reconsider that. Um, and then back to this notion of what, now I'm starting to think, at this point I was thinking, okay, so gifts, now is this a gift shop? 
Okay, so do, do you follow me um, where the confusion is? Okay, so now let's get over here to the promotional handout. Okay, and this is, this is good, this is fine, this is excellent, this is great. So, yeah, okay, so now I'm guessing, yes, it is a, it, it is a, um, it, it is a gift shop. Okay, so, okay, so then over here we have this, um, this order form, I, I would, I would try something else. This isn't really working for a portfolio um, because it's just not incorporated into the design. It basically looks like you took a, a I don't know, is this a, is this a restaurant check? I suppose it's a restaurant check, but um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So um, I, this isn't incorporated into the design. You see what I'm saying? This is, this looks great right here. My only suggestion here is that you, let's take a look here. Okay, this sign right here looks awesome. I'm so glad you rendered this out like you did. There's only two things with the sign. It's two. You, wanna, you want to feature the sign itself, okay? And so you're going to want to crop this guy like something like, like that. Or, and then the other thing is that this image itself has this really heavy um, shadow on the, um, uh, right on your logo, laying right on your logo. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if that is the best choice there. Um, perhaps a night shot where that's lit up. I'm not sure. Um, and of course, these are all your decisions. Is that the same? Let me see. Oh, no. Is that the same as this over here? Is that? Okay, because that sign doesn't have that shadow on it. But that last one that we saw, that has that, that real heavy shadow on it. So food for thought. And um, so those are my thoughts. And, and um, it, so if you have any questions at all, you, you let me know. Oh, one thing I wanted to close with is that these, your pages, you're really starting to get a good, great hang of presentation here. Um, I'm so glad I didn't forget to say this. Your grid is, is impeccable. It looks like your playing field. Um, it looks like you understand what, okay, folks, the grid, the playing field, basically. So the area that Autumn uses to um, view, to show her presentation, okay? You can see there's the corner right there and the corner up here. I'm sorry, the corner right here is the same. So really excellent placement and good, good thinking, um, thinking about, you know, setting that out like that. My the next suggestion as far as page layout goes is to think about um, maybe using spreads if as if you were going to design a book um, but this is fine whatever whatever you're comfortable with is, is very cool so so good job all right and um, if you have any questions get with me as as I will certainly um, spend time and help you personally <laughs> thank you very much autumn